You've probably never heard of this tablet, and to be honest, neither had I until about a week and a half ago. It's a brand new 3D tablet that released in 2024, and we're going to open it up in this video together and take a look at how good it is. If you have never heard of 3D tablets before, I cover a bunch of that on my channel, so I definitely recommend subscribing because it's some of the coolest tech out there in the world right now, and it's only getting better. So I'm very curious to see just how good the 3D on this 3D tablet is. This one just might have the best 3D display out of all the tablets available right now. So we're going to open it up and take a look at the Master Plus 2024. As you can see on the front, it's written in Chinese. So this one is available in China called the Master Plus 2024. Here it says Luoyan San Di Ping Ban, which means glasses-free 3D tablet. Nothing too fancy about the packaging here. Here on the front, it doesn't say the name of the tablet. It just has that title. And then here in fine print, a couple of icons that say 2.5K high resolution, high precision eye tracking, 3D images, 3D video, 2D to 3D conversion, and even 3D gaming. Here on the back, it has some simple specs outlined with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. I believe that is the 2D resolution of the tablet, which is the same as the Lumepad 2. Screen size of 11 inches, 8 gigs of RAM, and 256 gigs of storage. And that's pretty much it. So let's open this thing up and see how it actually functions as a 3D tablet. Okay. So this is how it came, actually. The box is not sealed, and this came from China. It's gonna take the cover right off. Okay, this is very tightly packed in here. And here's the tablet. Wow, I can't get over how, how tiny and light this feels. And it's got this Proma sticker sealing it shut. So I'm gonna have to Break this seal. And you can see a first look at this 2024 3D tablet by Proma. It appears to have a 3D camera, which says AI camera. I actually really like the way this feels. It does feel a bit tiny because I'm so used to holding the Nubia Pad 3D and the Loom Pad 2 in my hand. And this thing is quite a bit lighter and then the screen size since it's only 11 inches and not 12.4 inches feels much smaller one other detail i'm noticing immediately is this right here it has a slot for micro sd cards which is great dual speakers one on each side and then at the top it's kind of the same setup as the nubia pad 3d and the loom pad 2. the buttons at the top feel a little bit loose so i don't know how i feel about that but the most important thing here of course is how it works so i'm going to power it on Let's see how this thing functions in 3D. Looks pretty sharp to me. This is not in 3D. There's also a camera in the front here. And here's the home screen. So this camera here in the front might provide head tracking support for content on this tablet. There wasn't really a very involved setup process. Now that I've gotten this already and I had a minute to explore it, I figured out how to view stuff in 3D. And it turns out that you really have to just use one single app on this tablet. When you open it up, you get a number of tabs here and it starts you out with some demo videos. Let's take a look at one of these demo videos. All right, so the demo has started playing and my immediate thoughts are that there is a lot of pop out on this tablet. And then second thing is that the head tracking is a bit unstable. I mean, head tracking does not seem to be as precise as the Loompad 2. So I think with this, I would want to hold it steadier, make sure that I'm not moving around too much while I'm viewing it so that it can stay locked onto me. But the 3D on this is actually really, really impressive. And so is the resolution. I would say that this, this is easily on the same level as the Loompad 2. I don't know about better, but at least the same with really good brightness too. So all of this looks very crisp and it's actually a ton of detail in 3D. So what I'm seeing here, like really there's a ton of pop out. I think there's less crosstalk on this display overall. It's less noticeable and the colors are very bright and vivid. So everything stands out very clearly, especially in a video like this. My first immediate impressions are that this is very sharp, high resolution, some crosstalk, but less than the Loompad 2 or Nubia Pad 3D, especially with pop out. But I just think overall there's less crosstalk. The screen size is noticeably smaller. So I do feel it a little bit when I'm watching it because I'm so used to using a larger tablet size to view things in 3D, but it's definitely big enough where it feels enjoyable to watch something on this in 3D. On the upper right hand side, it actually tells you when the head tracking is on, how far your pupils are 
from the display. So it has a real-time distance tracker. It says 530 millimeters. That just gives you an indicator of how far you are away from the display. I don't know how useful that is when I'm using it. I don't think I would really need to reference that, but just pointing it out that that is a feature that's built into this. And then if you open up this menu on the right, you actually, one of my favorite things is that this tablet lets you turn off the head tracking. So sometimes I feel like it's a bit unstable. From the testing I did just now, when you turn it off, you can view this kind of like the LoomPad 1, where it just has a sweet spot. So you just hold it steady in that sweet spot. You don't have to worry about head tracking and you can view whatever you want in 3D. Let's do a quick check and see how many 3D viewing angles this actually has horizontally. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six horizontal viewing angles. Vertically, you also have to be careful though because when you tilt it vertically, it also breaks the viewing angle. So you really have to have it balanced vertically and horizontally. And vertically, there are six sweet spots, horizontally and vertically, and you have to position it balanced between both to view it when you have head tracking off. But I don't think it's too much of a problem. Fairly comfortable for me because I was used to doing that anyway with the LoomPad 1. And the great thing about this, as many know with the Nubia Pad 3D and the LoomPad 2, is that you cannot really watch them with the lights completely out. And I've noticed that in very dark environments, it's just hard for the head tracking to detect your face and display the 3D to you. And when it can't, it just shuts off. Sometimes it's the most fun just to enjoy something at night. You just want to wind down and watch something in 3D. This is a really good way to do it. And plus the resolution is on par with the Nubia Pad 3D and the LoomPad 2. If that is important for you, then this is worth considering. I'm impressed with the 3D quality, the resolution, the brightness pretty much everything on par with the LoomPad 2. Brightness might be slightly less in 3D. I'll have to do more testing to verify that. So that's their first demo video. The other options here are to display something in 2D and convert it into 3D to have it at the default 3D display level or full side-by-side. -side. FSBS or default are the different 3D display modes. And then you can loop the video or just do a single cycle. And then here's where you turn the eye tracking on and off. There's also a button on the upper left that's called 3D Plus, and I haven't quite figured out exactly what this does yet. I'll leave a note in the description or in a later video once I figure that out. Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video and if you think devices like this are cool and you want to see more of them, definitely subscribe to my channel, like this video. It helps me bring more content like this and share these devices and everything that they can do with all of you. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video and your support for my channel. When we go back to the home page of 3D Fan, the other tabs that are in this app include something that's called Short Film, which has movie clips of various movies that they've included here that are all 3D movies. The thing that says Fan, which is supposed to be kind of like a social media, it looks like Facebook or like an old version of Facebook with a feed where you could post videos and view other people's videos and it is not active there really isn't anybody using this somebody has posted a series of like 30 plus yoga videos and i checked a couple of them out the 3d effect is good so it works if this were to become an active community i could see that you could find some cool 3d content on here it's just not active right now but keep in mind that this device literally just released earlier this month and is not very well known there are a couple of tabs here 3d enthusiast 2d to 3d and I'm not sure what the difference between these are and how it selects what to show on these different tabs or feeds, but you know, they just have different videos uploaded by the same user here. And then specific to 3D images of these insects. And if you click on it, like it shows four images at once. They are not displayed in 3D like this, but if you click on it, it takes a second to load and then opens it up in 3D. And then you can scroll, which is also not immediate. You have to wait a second, but it's okay. I mean, the images look Good. They could be better quality 3D pictures, but that's not because of the tablet, that's just because of the content that was posted. And then the most important thing is probably going to be your local files. So there is a space here. I tested it. I transferred over some of my photos that I took on the iPhone 15 Pro, on the LoomPad 2, and then that I converted using Layapix of AI-generated art into 3D. And you can store those in a specific folder that will place them in this app, 3D Fan, because it's the only place you can access this 3D content. And when you click on an image that's stored in here or a video, it'll just display it to you in 3D. And this is a, a picture that I took on the LoomPad 2, and it turns out beautifully on this too. It really does rival the quality of the 3D display 
of the Lumen Pad 2. It's just smaller, but it's lighter at the same time. I think it's kind of a cool balance and it feels very light and portable and fun to view something this quality, but on a slightly smaller size. And here is a photo I took on my iPhone 15 Pro and it turns out also beautifully just the way it did on the Lumen Pad 2. I mean, the same level of quality really. But here is one of the coolest things that also sets this tablet apart is that you can view things vertically in 3D. When you're doing this, although it's not incredibly quick or precise, this vertical viewing mode does also support head tracking if you turn it on. If you turn it off, then there are specific viewing sweet spots like I just mentioned before. But it's really cool to have a 3D display of this quality that supports vertical orientation 3D content. I also tested some 4K videos that I recorded in 3D and 4K on the iPhone 15 Pro and they turned out absolutely gorgeous on this too. So I really think every time I experience a new 3D device, if it really is a good one, like the quality of this 3D display, it just feels like such a magical experience to me. I wish more people could experience it. There are certain flaws, I mean, with this one, it feels slightly less premium than the Lumpad 2 and the edges are a little more sharp, you know? You kind of feel like it's a little bit less comfortable to hold, but it's lighter, so it evens out. And then the top, these buttons on the top, as I kind of mentioned, feel a little bit loose. There's a little bit of a grainy sound or something, like like something doesn't sound quite right when I'm tapping this these buttons and it makes a, the vibration inside the tablet. Not sure why that is, but it doesn't affect the viewing experience and when I'm viewing something I don't push the buttons anyway so it doesn't bother me what I care about the most is that this display works and that the 3d looks gorgeous which it does my recommendation would be if you're looking for something that is like the ultimate device to view things in 3d on the go glasses free 3d no headset or anything this is a tablet that you should definitely look into and i'm happy i got it when i watched my 3d movies you know one of the problems with the acer spatial labs laptop even though it has the best display out of all of these with the highest resolution in 3d is that it's not portable. You know, it's like this big clunky laptop and I don't really want to sit in bed or on the couch with this giant laptop on my lap or propped on something to watch a movie in 3D. It's not that comfortable. So I would rather watch something on a display like this that has very sharp quality. From what I noticed, it can pick up a little bit more detail from, from what I could tell in the 3D videos than the Lumpad 2, like of powder, dust and smoke, those tiny details where you notice the resolution could be better on the Nubia Pad 3D and the Loom Pad 2. I'd have to test this out to be certain, but it seems like it really catches these minute little details in higher resolution in 3D mode on this tablet. So that's a good thing for movies. Those are the situations that caught my attention in a bad way on the Loom Pad 2 and the Nubia Pad 3D, but with this one, it feels very good, very crisp, and those details are very fine, even in 3D. From what I've experienced so far, this one seems to be the more enjoyable one to watch movies on. But I will do more experimentation and it also has a mode inside 3D Fan. There's a section that allows you to just open up website or browser and I will play around with this more too. But you could go to YouTube and play a side-by-side -side video and then view it in 3D on this for example. And then even convert things with the conversion quality it doesn't even come close to Leia's or Acer's conversion technology, so don't, I wouldn't get it for that. There's also this camera on the back, which is a little bit deceiving because it actually isn't a 3D camera. It has a flash and then one camera, but it's structured to look like a 3D camera. And when you take a picture, basically it instructs you to move over a centimeter and take another one. And I was surprised when I was doing it, then I realized it's not an actual stereo camera. And the results are kind of mixed. The resolution in the first place is not that high, but it does turn out 3D. It just can't match the level of quality that's taken with the really stellar camera on the Nubia Pad 3D and the Loom Pad 2. Well, that's it for this unboxing, but let me know if you want to see more, like a direct comparison between the tablets or anything specifically you want to know about the Master Plus 2024, this brand new 3D tablet. So far, I'm happy with the unique things that it can do, and I think it's pretty cool. I want to see the technology evolve in a bunch of different ways from a bunch of different companies. It's exciting to see the technology get better and better on many devices, not just a handful. Can't wait to experience even more, but let me know if you have any questions, what your thoughts are on this tablet in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.